pe- people became better at dealing with the alchemists and they understood the hero more and they realized that you don't try to outgrid alchemists <laughs> like a lot of teams that Why actually lost a lot of teams that lost actually tried to outgrid alchemists you can never outgrid alchemists 10 seconds so remaining uh, 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 5 minus <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <Five seconds laughs> no chance. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you, t- <laughs> you lose the game trying to get five miners. Maybe if they have no heroes with ags upgrades and they have like undying plus like glitch and other heroes like that. Actually both of those have ags upgrades. Uh, so I don't know. But I-, I think that you should never try to upgrade alchemists. You should always be looking Fighting, to punish yeah. and Get wards down, try to steal his stats. I'm with you. We should be on the same team together. Radiant yeah, why not? Man. We do it. We can name our team the Five Merlinis. And we're going to get Ming Li as our support. <laughs> Radiant You're team. way too much of a meme right now, Winter. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> Spirit breaker. But right now, yep. Mineski. Uh, those two are really f- favorite Mineski heroes. Banned in second phase by Liquid. Like Huska and Slada. So I like I like the way that Liquid are actually choosing to ban the heroes. They're banning a lot of comfort heroes that Mineski like to mm-hmm. go for. Like I, I feel like you should always be targeting your ban towards what the enemy is comfort. Not always about what, general. What's good versus your lineup. Yeah, not always about what good versus your lineup. You yeah. always have to consider that I'm what the opponents are uh, really comfortable. Aren't there some exceptions though? Yeah, they are, but Five you should always have remaining. like a balance. You know, you should shouldn't always be trying to balance ban. Balance in all things. Yep, Ember Spirit. Reserve time. Balance in all I things. like his vo- his voice and his uh, voice lines. They're really cool. Do you ever play him? Probably not, so no. you don't know his lines. Uh, they're, they're really good. You should play him a couple of times just to hear his voice lines. I played him a couple of times, but I don't remember. <laughs> so He's nice. He's peaceful to play, even He's though he hears all about he has, slaying people. Uh, it's all about, yeah, he's all about slaying people and killing. But... Wow, well, they're what? actually going for level one Roche. Radiant I mean, ideally, when you there's one more thing about like Alchemist as well. When you pick him, you want to have very strong level one heroes so you secure the level one bounty. I mean, I think Maneski has a way stronger level one though with the AA. Yep, A yeah. is like one of the best, is and they have SB the as well. SB is like the the tankiest level one hero, like in terms of effective HP. Yep, because of the armor and his starting strength. Not if you have magic damage. That's what AA is there for. <laughs> Gyro's pretty good level one. Shaker, Gyro. Shaker, Gyro, Pudge. Yeah, Pudge is really good at level one at the rune. But so right now, they should pick Pudge. Remaining. <laughs> 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 and Alchemist buys the axe for Five the Pudge. Sounds remaining. cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah, but right now they need. Mm, Reserve time. They need, an- they need another support and a need carry. Don't they need reliable lockdown? Like more quick spells against Spear Break and Ember? I feel like their cast points are Yeah, way but too they long. have Venge though. Like, what do you pair with Venge? Like, less support? Lina support? Venge? Rubik with Venge? You think it's good? It's okay. It's not it's bad. It's weak though. You don't have, like, you don't have damage. Like, in terms of the two supports, like, you don't deal a lot of damage. Do you need damage? You have Darkseer and Elk. No, when you're trying to gank, like, in the lanes and stuff, you know, you, do, you don't actually exactly have a. CM? A lot of damage. Like Venge plus Rubik feels very weak as a support duo. Even with CM is weak. Like Venge I feel you need to be like with a Lash or Lina that deals a lot more or even maybe in certain cases a Mirana, but that's very rare. Phantom Lancer. I, I feel like they need more instant disable. Like it doesn't matter if you follow, you can't actually stun them in the first place. Right? Like yeah, against Ember. I guess so. And yeah. and Spirit Breaker, right? Dire team like if he charges you, it's like I, I get you. Then wouldn't well. you feel like Disruptor would feel the gap much better? Oh yeah, Disruptor's actually pretty good. I kinda like that. It's a mix in between. It's like good follow up and it's good versus these heroes. Yeah. They have like very greedy lineup now. Like El- I mean you, it's greedy remaining. but you can also play non greedy, like because you can fight early with Iron Shell and PL. Five Iron seconds Shell and remaining. It really Iron depends sh- on how you play it. But it's it's quite weird that you go for PL into the Ember Spirit. You rarely Radiant see teams team do that pick. nowadays. Matama man though. What other Matama man heroes are there? Slot, Ember, PL, this three. <laughs> yeah. You good note. Queen of Pain. Damn, that's a damn Team scary Pink. Mineski lineup. Queen of Pain is also like one of their staple heroes. So they're probably going to do like obviously SV off lane plus... Mm, I guess he's going to be there alone and they'll just focus on... Getting the Ember farm with the two supports in the lane, and you want to keep pulling, right? With uh, Dazzle and A, you don't really want to gank so much. You want to probably mm-hmm. just get a TP score on Dazzle early and just focus on 
Yeah, well, Queen, Queen's not going to need Ten the help, and remaining. Ember Spirit needs the Dark Shire Zone now, so yeah. Let's let him out. Five seconds remaining. Get that farm on. Yeah, I think they should just focus on getting their levels, and then when they have like level 7 on Ember, Ember Reserve rotates time. to the Spirit Breakers lane to try and get kills done or pressure the PL. Then you give the lane to the. I mean, obviously, give Ten the lane to the AA to get level 6. Yeah. They and definitely need damage. Dazzle will be probably stacking and helping the queen. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, but I think overall their plan will be to pressure, Bounty pressure, pressure, hunter. pressure, pressure. They need to use the Ember to limit the Alchemist and PL from farming too much. Oh, the Bounty Hunter is like something interesting that we didn't really talk about before. It doesn't have a stun follow up with the bench, but it does provide another thing, which is the Iron Shell on the Bounty. So you can That's actually harass the A and Dazzle. I mean, they can just buy sentries though, and just, they'll just crush that lane. Yeah, I guess so. But then if you actually, it depends on another thing, like if the bounty could actually use, maybe he gets his own, he's going to get his own sentry, right? Mm -hmm. So you use your sentry to block the camp, because A needs a, to pull a lot to get levels. Yeah. That's his primary plan. So you want to force him to maybe use sentries to... I mean, they you. have to TP down there, right? Like, I don't... Yeah, maybe. Maybe they will actually do it. Because yeah. you want to actually, I think it's worth it, because you want to stop uh, support like Ten A, which is so level dependent they from really getting do. pulls. So if you actually... Even if you actually don't Five do remaining. it successfully, you get uh, dewarded. At least you force him to use one sentry to remove your sentries. Benjamin Wu, overlay. Reminder from Gorman. I got it. Oh, he did. He got it. Prepare. I don't know. Battle. I think, it, isn't this lineup like really risky for Liquid though? Like, it, they, They're very greedy though. They have an Alk that can't fight that well. It's also somewhat countered by the Alchemist. They have poor lanes because they're up against a Queen. And they have Venge support which doesn't do anything in lanes. Yeah. He's I more of like useful later when you're trying to rush. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think a lot of it would depend on how well this bounty does in the early game. How I think he has to limit the levels on A, that's number one. And maybe try to help the alchemists as much as you can. How are, they, how are they gonna secure runes for him though? Like uh, the I heroes, they're not gonna be able. I to. think they're. They need they're to like dodge. They need to use the BH to scout where Mineski is, and then go and for the other. Them? Yeah, go for the other rune. But can't they just take the fights of them with Ember? <gasps> oh my god, though? they place a sentry! <laughs> Holy shit! Did they? See? Oh, that's a lane mod. Yeah, that's a lane mod. That was a lane mod. Like, what the fuck? What? How, how did they actually see him? They had a lane mod that scouted him out. Because they TP'd. They, they, they Mineski, so Mineski was yeah. the ones that actually tp it down instead of uh, Liquid. Because they realized probably Liquid wants to block that camp because they have A. They want to stop him from getting level, so they actually tp their support in to make sure it doesn't They should have TP'd with Bounty, I think, with the Observer Ward. Yeah, with sentries. probably. Oh, here we go, the double Iron Shell. They're going to contest the room with two heroes versus four heroes? What? What is going on, Benwu? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't have enough mana yes, for chains. Mango. Mango. He mango. Mango. Three, two, one. Mango. Chain. <gasps> oh, oh my! Oh. You know what is Ben Wu doing? Ben oh. Wu is doing fail fish. <laughs> that was pretty fail fish. <laughs> They didn't even need to commit to that. Damn. Yeah, but it, it's not that bad at the end of the game. Yeah. It's just oh no, it's actually quite bad. But yeah. I, I thought it was support dying. Oh yeah, what? what yeah, it was Ember dying. <laughs> okay, now we go. Bad. Iron Shell, double Iron Shell, and Bounty Hunter. No, 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 no. But you said that this lane should be acceptable for the two heroes versus the two, right? But for the start they had, it should be even much better, right? Because they have they, they took the Bounty they runes, but the, the first bird. Yeah, they sh and they got first bird, but they're like able to do kind of what they want in their jungle. So yeah, but know. Bounty should be able to steal pressure because they use both yeah, the sentries. They, they I'm drop talking about Dyer can do what they want in their jungle. They, they drop both the sentries now, so they don't have any more sentries. Mm -hmm. Do they have a dust on Dazzle? Yeah. Yep. But still, now the laning phase should still be okay for the Dark Surface Bounty. They should be able to limit a lot of their pulls mm -hmm. and rotations. And A is just left the lane. He's, is he going top? No, he's going. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing. So he just came in. Trying to get level 2? I don't know. What? What? He solo killed the Venge? I also don't know how that happened. No, he has Pearl Man Shoe with all the Venom. No, did did this guy get the the Bounty Rune at top? Yeah. Can you get- No, did he get the Bounty yeah. Rune? Oh, he got the- They got double Bounty Rune? Yeah. Okay, no I one. pulled that up early. What, what's wrong with you, Winter? Dude, no wonder he got the solo kill then. So he- so he, he got the bounty rune, he yes. bought a, a poor man's shoe, and he got the solo kill on the bench after that. That's scary. It's not like PL can really do that much to stop him. 
You can show Lance, I guess. That's about it. I mean, he's charging though, so... Denied. So they pretty much want top, I guess, at this stage. And well, if this actually happens, then middle lane is probably lost. Radiance Courier. Oh my god, that is such killed. a big play from Kuroki. Good moves. Good and moves. Beca because you don't really see Bounty Hunters so much nowadays, so you kind of sometimes forget about that. Like, we saw teams being really diligent, they always send the support <laughs> back to actually collect the bottle back. Back yeah. when Bounty was actually very popular. I thought that's what a I thought that's what Queen of Pain was doing, was getting his bottle when he was giving uh, it he was a. I thought he picked up the salve first. He got a salve, uh, I think, before that. Then got lazy. And then he <laughs> and then A didn't I, I guess they just forget because you don't really play against I mean they have a sentry and they kinda did it at the start and they dropped the observer ward at the start as well as picked up dust. It looked like they're pretty <laughs> they're pretty well equipped. So they they just forgot. I think they just forgot. Yeah. Shit happens. It happens. Shit happens, yeah. So right now PL is gonna get. Uh, I mean PL is not gonna be able to zone the SB out of the lane so much. I so mean neither is Ven. Ven can't do anything at this point. Like with the minus armor is <laughs> nothing. Like and so. with the pull man shield, I mean you t you talk about. I yeah, mean, we, we talk about the pull man shield. You didn't even know about well. the change. So the the change of stout shield only affected stout shield. Yeah, it affected pull man shield. I, so I, I thought it affected pull man shield. So pull man shield got buffed because it cost fifty less gold for the same thing. And then you block more, right? Well, you block the same as before, which is yeah. relatively more, but it's cheaper for the same. So that's a straight buff. Winter thought it was the same, same block. Please, Winter. He didn't realize. Okay. <laughs> the bash. <laughs> he's just able to do what he wants. Oh my god, the bench is dead? If he gets a bash, all the venom. Okay, he has no boots. He's done for. Oh my. The bash is real. Dude, he's so, he's so fearless. You you have the highest effective HP in the game, so yeah. Especially with poor man shield, your HP is just through the roof. Do you think you should actually get poor man shield all the time on SB now? In on that off, sort of on lane, off yeah. Lane? Especially with like PL illusions and whatnot, and you're constantly beating on creeps because you're kind of diving and he, into and the range. He got row. the bounty, so he got the poor man shield yeah. very early. Poor man shield so value. We'll take that. I also think he should get some mangoes, but. <laughs> <laughs> on SD? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? You gotta make use of that armor. You don't really use the mana so much though. Yeah, but you get the HP. Sometimes you run out of mana. Especially when you TP yeah, and charge. I guess so. Sometimes. You, you're a spear breaker player sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but you generally have like three charges at the early game. Like you don't really need Yeah, but I'm talking about three. when you get your ultimate. Yeah. Right? Look at his mana. Yeah, I know, I know. If he charges and then ults, he doesn't have enough mana. With a TP. Actually. <laughs> Technically he doesn't, he has 299. Yeah, but this is also one of the lanes where Queen of Pain oh, is able... Oh, she's not 6 yet! He should... Oh, oh that was good. 6. But they have ult. He's, he's dead still. Blink is coming off on cooldown 3 seconds, so they should still get the kill here. Oh, oh he has Carlos? 2 points in stun, actually? Dude, no wonder that stun was so long. I was wondering why the stun on the Street Breaker was so long. It was a level 2 stun from Alchemist. He had a 2 2 one Oh my... Effective HP. Uh, okay. Yeah, but he look at his CS. He's actually on equal terms with the uh, with the Queen. And you have to remember that Alchemist didn't get the rune. So it's, it's but actually... But Queen got her bottle killed, man. Oh yeah, Queen got her bottle Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually even thinks up. From your grasp. Because usually Queen should be able to dominate the Alchemist when you get the bounty and he doesn't get the bounty. Because you can bring past the acid to actually poison and harass him. What if you never cast acid? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Then what? I'm just kidding. You max unstable, <laughs> yeah, unstable concussion. Then she can never blink on you. And then you max Grievous Greed. Unstable concussion so she never blinks on you and you keep farming. So that's your Radiant's plan. Middle tower wow. is under attack. You die trying to get the room. Not worth. That's yeah, definitely not worth. I want to hear more theory. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. With what? Poor man shield? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude. No. What are you talking about? No. Poor man shield is good on every. Like even. Uh, it's good on strength heroes. Radiant's middle Because the armor goes much longer attack. away, and you have a larger would, would, HP. Would you pool. actually just get it on? Uh, have you tried it getting on tight and you don't skill crack and shell and just you just go anchor smash instead? Why would you go anchor smash instead when you get then one you get one one? Because it doesn't stack with poor man shield if you're getting poor man shield. Yeah, but you want the disable. The disable. The debuff, debuff remover. Yeah. Save. Aren't you a stat He still has a lot of armor. Is it going to be able to save him through this? He sticks. Yes, Clementio. He scores. 
and he escapes. <laughs> he does 140 HP. Man, he doesn't like die, and he has a soft <laughs> right now. That was with a level two stun. This guy is becoming s s such a big. Problem. Yeah, so right now the overall gameplay, uh, game pace is like Mineski is winning mostly all their lanes. Ember has like practically free farm, even though they were harassing their supports a lot. But Ember was just free farming in the lane, and obviously Queen and Alchemist broke even because he lost his bottle. So that's acceptable. So you basically won two of your lanes, and middle is like sort of break even. So Mineski is in a very good position after the laning phase. They're getting good levels on the bounty though. Yeah, but they, ha the they have a very greedy lineup though, so like, you have yeah, to yeah. win a lot as Mineski. I don't know if they're the winning enough. Tower's no, not enough. Not enough. This is definitely not enough. Because SP got a really good start. Yeah. But then the middle lane lost the, even though SB got a good start, but oh they lost the career on with the bottle. Yeah. They needed the queen to dominate the alchemist as well. Then they will be fine with this lineup. Oh, he's sick. Oh. oh, he got a kill. His. What a rune. Oh, maybe he would have even gotten the vent yeah, if he I gotten I the sonic wave I on the vent. So. He's gonna send him in tower. Nah. If he got the sonic wave on the vent, I think he would go for that tower kill. Is under attack. So, you know, they have so much, like, Weaver Speed and Crack, they can keep getting kills and getting a lot of gold later if the situation allows. So, Liquid can afford to go behind. As yeah, but as their team fight is terrible. They're not gonna look to fight, though. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna rat a lot. You said uh, with Track, how's he gonna get Track kills if they don't get any kills? Just get, just gang, like, small skirmishes. Oh, you don't take potato! five. Potato! Oh my god! <laughs> the jokes are real. Radiant's top tower is under attack. All played Raging Potato. Can we just call him Jay, please? Jay? I yeah. like Raging Potato. Okay, Raging Potato. That's his whatever. name in game, dude. Raging Potato. I go by that. Radiant's sure. top tower is under attack. So you don't like Raging Potato? I like fried potato. I like uh -oh. mashed potato. I don't think He's actually going for the max stun build though. This is like something we don't. I don't think I've ever seen any players. What's he going with this club? Sange? SNY? SNY, then you max stun and SA and you fight. Why won't you just get Medallion to fight? Because he wants to have more stats to survive bursts against Queen of Pain. Why didn't he get treads then? So why the face then? I, I, I don't know, I'm asking you. <laughs> Man, I'm not playing the Alchemist. <laughs> I'm not playing the Alchemist. He wants to chase down target so he can stun. Like you want an extra movement speed so you can actually land your stun. I guess Does so. that make sense now? I guess. So why <laughs> not drums? <laughs> 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 Screw you dude, Ben. You're hey, trying these to are legitimate questions. You're, you're trying to troll me. I'm not trying to troll you. Yes you are. What's you're wrong with drums? Drums is much cheaper than S and Y. <laughs> so you go drums face. Yeah. And then what you go next? S and Y? <laughs> <laughs> well played, Ben. Well, Place. Yeah, but I actually like the feel up like if you get a medallion first because Radiant's when you are actually laning alchemist, you actually need some sort of mana regen item early game so you can keep yeah. spending your assets. Oh, unless so you get runes. Even with runes, you still want that extra mana regen so you can actually. Really? He's going max stun though. He's not spraying every you wave. You still huh? need to spray with to farm, right? You look, just look at him. He's definitely spraying to farm. So you are always going he to has use. Ion, but you still run out of mana, so you want to have that like, either a soul ring or medallion. That's I agree. That's mana. why I said why not medallion. Yeah, no, medallion is very common though. Like, I think most of the play like no tier as well. He builds medallion yeah. if he's going the utility. Even no, even envy he does that when he's going the utility alchemist. Even with that, I seen casual sage mask. Oh Which yeah, yeah. I think it's very good on alchemist. I agree. I'm with you. But Fada opting for a different build. I mean, with with face and S and Y, though, it's pretty reasonable that he wants to chase people down. Not only with the unstable concoction because of the iron show too, right? Yep, I can I see can why know. he's doing that. He's trying to raise his HP threshold so he can shatter earlier. White <laughs> 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 girl gets charged up, Mr. Potato. <laughs> Kuro about to get owned by Queen. He's also dead. I mean, this next. is this is what they kind of expected to happen when they have this sort of lineup. They just need to be able to buy space and time for PL. Exactly. But why they draft PL so early? I think that's like kind of committing them to a strategy that they don't necessarily want. Why? To why? Play. Why did they draft Alchemist second pick? <laughs> Alchemist was even earlier. Yeah, because Alchemist you can actually play very aggressively, right? With the solar jewels. Well, looks like he's isolated. The so you mean you go solar crest first? Yeah, then you can go solar, and, and you, you also have good roshan potential if you have a lot of fighting on you, right? So it's and they have branch actually, so that actually could be very easy for them. Right, if you had like a slaughter instead, let's say, I think it could have been a little. Yeah, bit Pierre different. was actually quite weird. 
Yeah. Especially when they saw the Ember. Yeah, and the AA, so you know you that A uh, that out can't carry super hard because of that. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But <sighs> oh my god, they're gonna get they're gonna miss the kill. Oh my god, he's juking him. Oh my god, no that, armor. That was level three stun though. So. Wow, yeah, he's definitely he's expecting like a four, four one floor or something. Just getting destroyed. Like typical, by that, that was the typical build, like four one four build. What's he going with the staff, man? Why is Radiant everyone getting staff? Instead of he's getting yules. He's getting yules, not Pongusa. Why was he want yules? If you dodge Radiant alchemist stun, you dodge lance stun. You can remove track. You can dodge the lance. Is it worth it and to not have any HP? Why don't you just tank up and just get? You know, even even S four has been going this build all the time, like recently. Yules first. Yeah, yules first. Because he primarily uses it against Stala because he was playing it against a lot of Stala's in his matches. And you can remove the amp damage. I think it's good versus. I definitely think it's good versus amp. Radiance and uh, I think the other good attack. thing about like getting a use, it allows you to gain aggressivity and then you use yourself if you get in trouble and then you buy time. I think for it's. I usually see it versus like Global Silence or Orchid though. Yeah. I think like versus this sort of lineup. Like if you have an Orchid on Darkseer or an Orchid on Ben, for example, or Alchemist while he's stunning, like it's a, it's a huge swing of the fight. Yeah, I, ca I agree. Cuckoo picks up another kill. Thanks to the ward there, that vision on the Alchemist jungling. They placed the ward previously. So, good vision allowing Mineski to capitalize on kills. And SB goes for Midas, obviously, because he had a very good start. Alk is not that far ahead. <laughs> Pretty scary if you're liquid. Yeah, usually you are like maybe two two thousand gold at least at this point. You have to be two thousand gold at least ahead, otherwise. Yeah. But this game he's playing against A though, like he gets countered. His ultimate is not that useful. And he has a PL on his team. And he needs to make space for the PL to farm. I'm not sure though what build is. If you look, he's not even going yields, dude. Oh, he's going agonims. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe he changed his mind. I suppose so. I think he, he because the past few games that we I saw he he actually Radiant's went use on top his tower is under attack. Like there were some games. So. Looking bad for old Jules here. Gotta get that grave out. He gets stunned up and looks track. like he has a free track kill. Well, three hero track. Four hero track. The swamp moving farther out Raging of. Raging potato getting in there. Waiting for his bullets to come up. A of man. Oh my goodness, Potato destroys them with the Ice Blast connecting Fada, no trying TP. his best to escape. Nah, he's not gonna get out, there's no yes. TP. And Minecraft is gonna try and search him out. Oh, he's gonna die as well. Oh yeah, they do have Sonic Wave up. Not sure if she wants to blow it quite yet. They have a charge up soon on the Speed Breaker. Oh, okay. They're giving up, I guess. I'm not really sure what they're scared of. I guess maybe they didn't want to blink in there. I don't know. Queen of Pain's still pretty. Yeah, but alive it's already healthy. showing like they're playing so greedy against Dyer's this sort of lineup. The Ember, Spirit Breaker type of like, and Queen of Pain heroes. Like you can't really play. It's very hard Radiant's to play greedy with this because you get why don't they? Punished. Why don't they try and scout and take this with Bounty Hunter then? And then they were trying to go for a kill there instead. Of, yeah, they were playing aggressive. I mean, it's so hard though. Like Ember can kind of be there anytime. Spirit Breaker can charge around the map. Yeah, and BOT up. But they, they probably felt comfortable because they had like two wards in the jungle. If you look at their wards, so Ice Blast will come in. Yell does have Doppelganger though, so he should be able to just escape fine. Kuroki should be dead. Yeah. Unless he gets a, a shuriken. shuriken out on him. Shuriken! Wolf! Oh. If he get the kill as well. Oh my god. That was, that was a good ulti. That was a good ulti. Yeah, Queen needed to pop the ulti. No. Otherwise, it would have been a really bad trade for them. Tumba man, still pretty poor, but I guess everyone in this game is not that out of control in terms of network. Yeah, it's, it's because they were so greedy with their lineup. That's why you, you couldn't really Radiance be Middle rich on, under attack. on certain heroes because you're always got getting pressured. And it's really bad when the Alchemist is not a hit versus this type of lineup. Like, he might even need to get a BKB though, like against the A. Already though, I don't think he maybe gets it. This not early. not now. Maybe you go SMY plus dagger first. I'm not sure. Then you go BKB. I think he needs like something to help his team initiate because he's gonna be needing to stand in front and drop his stun first, or even land a vacuum plus. Doesn't he need armor? He needs a lot of items. That's the thing because he needs to make space for PL. So you want to do the stun combo with the vacuum, and Dax that's is gonna get a blink as well. That's yeah. their that's their combo, right? Like we did this lineup. That's talking about super late, man. That's like 25 minutes plus. 
Yeah, but at this point, you still want to be ganking with the alchemist Radiant plus the bounty. Are so That's don't you go for something like a shadow blade instead, so you can actually get picks. Like you already have shadow, like maybe he's thinking that you have bounty already, so sentries or gem will counter two things. But blink's thing. still very hard versus like an ember spirit, let's say. Yeah, right. I agree. I agree. It's hard versus ember spirit, and but it's good. It's okay versus the other four heroes, I guess. Maybe casual saint and a radiance. <laughs> Yeah, he's saving a lot of gold though. But ra wouldn't you think Radiance is too greedy? I, I think so. But I think that they're actually getting by okay. Even with a 9 kill deficit, they're still pretty close in terms of gold. I don't know. You want to be more ahead. I, 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 uh, definitely, uh. I definitely think so, but you know, from his position, it's like they're not putting that much pressure on us. So you still have a lot. So you feel like he's actually thinking that... He might be considering he it. I mean, it's 4,000 gold. He's having this... I don't know. I guess so, when you're saving so much, there's nothing else that you're saving for at this point of the game. Ooh, nice TP out. Yeah, they have vision there, right? They see it? It's probably here, like around here. Yes. He wasn't charging from there, though. I don't uh, think. I wasn't paying attention. I think he was charging from like this, this trajectory. But right now, we feel like Liquid is in a somewhat acceptable position. Yeah. Um, they stopped getting pressured by Mineski. Like yeah. earlier, they were taking fights to Mineski. Then they actually lost a lot of bad trades because they were trying to gank. So right now, they are actually playing more of a economy focused game. I and think they're <laughs> like maybe too scared of track or something. Yeah, and then yeah. they're just sending Kuroki to scout and Dyer's probably tank gank. Like we, we felt it would be better if yeah. the bounty like, running 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 Why is he scared to go in? Oh, he's he's scared. Okay, they're gonna cancel his TP. Yep. Koki cancels his TP. And mid lane, they're gonna try to pressure. They need to actually do more pressure than this because when they remove the towers, then they can actually invade the jungle and stop the alchemists from farming. This is actually not too bad for Liquid since they have the radiance. They have the radiance, okay. That's a really good timing, I think, for Saint and Radiance. That's pop his ultimate. Do, do, do you actually think that the casual vid booster into the radiance is better than the Saint into vid uh, radiance? I don't like casual vid booster. Unless you're using it to get something. Otherwise, you don't feel Otherwise, you might as well just get like a. Drum. Drums. But it's way more expensive than drums. Yeah. Like 500 gold more. I mean, you can just get like Magic Sick Bracer. I think it's even Radiant's similar top enough. Tower do you like the attack. Singe, the casual Singe? It's still quite expensive. I, think, I don't think he planned on getting the radiance. You don't think so? I think he was. He got the same. He stage. changed his mind. I think so. It seemed that way, right? If you wanted more HP first, you would get like treads, drums, or something like that, right? And then if you want to go for a radiance, you go for a radiance. But I think he like he got the Sage, and then he's like, oh, we're actually doing fine yeah, now they're n they're because they were under us. pressure, a lot of pressure in the early yeah. game. So he got the Sage, and yeah. then then after that he maxed his previous greed. He felt like, oh, we're actually doing fine now. Then he decided, I think I could get away with a radiance. Yeah, like whatever. They're not punishing me for it. I think and they are not taking towers. The main thing is they are getting kills, but they are not taking towers. That's yeah. why he can farm. These two towers are still up. These th all their towers are still up. This is actually really bad for Mineski all of a sudden. We'll take that. So right now the alchemist starts to take a huge lead over... Uh, sort of starting to get a huge lead. 2,000 gold now. Starting. They haven't been able to scout him out though. Like, ideally you want to scout him out, you drop an AOT and then you kill him. Right, but like, that it really has not happened. Yeah, but the thing is, you have to understand this game, like usually Minasi has Bounty or Night Stalker, so they can actually place all the big bots. But this game, they don't really have those type of supports. They need to use smokes with the SB or something. So it's like a different type of approach to the game, where which differs from what they normally do. Don't you just tower dive a lot more then? Because you're not really scared I, I, of Bounty Hunter uh, that much? Earlier, yes. Now it's kind of difficult because Alchemist has a lot of farm now. They needed to do this, but like what they are doing now. And they need to place these bots somewhere. In the ancient area, they make sure the ancient area are covered. The jungle area is also covered. They need to have all these deep bots so they can actually further pressure the Alchemist with the charge. They still want double Midas as well as like. Raging that they don't have any really good start, so I don't even think they're in that much trouble for the late game. Yeah, but still, you're going Midas against Alchemist. Like, Alchemist is going to be fine with that. You're, he's the only hero that, oh, he doesn't really mind. Are that. you, though, if he's only 2,000 gold ahead? It's like not that big a yeah, deal. Yeah, but he's going to get more ahead as the game progresses now. He has Radiance plus his four levels. In the still, but the PL is not going to be able to do that much. Whereas you have two heroes with the Midas, you have Queen and then Yeah, but the thing is like the Alchemist is gonna extend the game long enough for the PL to be relevant. He's gonna go Yeah, but he's versus the Embers, like whatever. If he gets wrong, just cleave him down. Yeah, but then 
there's still an alchemist getting farmed. Yeah, if the game goes long then enough, then you have an AA with with eggs, right? It's like not that. Yeah, then it depends on how you're approaching the game, right? You you, you, you have to. Like they have maybe counters, build. I think, for everything that Liquid has, right? Especially with the start that they have. Like I don't think there's ever. Radiance Courier has but don't you think that out. late game they have uh, a lot of tools as well? Bench is really good late game. And obviously Dark is also really good late game. Yeah, but we're talking about versus an Ember Spirit. <laughs> like they don't really have any lockdown for an Ember Spirit. And like what? <laughs> Looking at it right now, Potato in a lot of trouble. Over don't here. need Rock's lockdown for me. Right there. <laughs> okay. The Shuriken Toss Hole. That's a track kill for four, five heroes. Four, uh, yeah, five heroes actually. <laughs> Okay, that is a really, a really big swing. That is a big, that is big trouble for me. I see. That is like what two, three K goes to. Check it out. Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> yep. You never want that to happen in front. That was only two of the kills too. Yeah. Radiance top tower has fallen. Yeah, but even though they have answers versus like uh, alchemist late game, but uh, I feel like liquid, the play's not liquid, clean enough. liquid is gonna want to go late attack. game regardless of what's happening, you know. They're just gonna wanna go late game with their bench uh, with their bench alchemist and PL. And Cuckoo's gonna get stunned up by Fata, so Roshan as well. <laughs> How convenient. Man, <laughs> just a few minutes the game became so difficult for me. I think Queen has had some unnecessary deaths. The one in mid, not having enough HP, like blinking to the I think six minute rule. Too really aggressive. Guy. Yeah, he was too aggressive with Fuck Girl. It's okay if thinking of Ember's like always thanking you off, but it's risky. You don't want to undercome the first time. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Okay, well, good. Kind of getting out of control right now. Yeah, gonna try to steal. Makes a big play. He's gonna try to steal. He's trying to use his spike to steal the AU. I haven't seen it. I've seen Timber Chain stealing AU from my spike. So they're gonna lose the Alchemist. He didn't pick up the Aegis, but Timber Man took the Aegis, and it's 2 for 2 now. Ducks here, Alchemist for. Actually, two for one. Queen of Pain died earlier, so Amber was the only one going down for that. Trying to steal. Oh, what a nice stuff. Jules is also dead. Another track of two heroes, and Spirit Breaker may be getting chased down right now. He does have Shadow Blade. That might be decent for them. They can try and set up Shadow Blade uh, into, into AA ult. Ice Blast, I guess. It's gonna allow the SB to become a very huge global threat though with the Ice Blast. Like SB plus SB plus the Ice Blast could kill basically anyone, maybe apart from PL. Unless you get extremely lucky with your bashes. Yeah, but you're not really looking to kill PL anyways. We need to kill Alchemist, Alchemist more. Alchemist, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they don't really have any wards set up in the jungle. I feel like the wards have been like pretty passive this They got uh, one of those got devolved previously by yeah. Liquid in the jungle, so yeah. Liquid were being really diligent about understanding the fact that they are the more greedy lineup with the Alchemist and PL, so they understand that the opponent will be trying to place deep boards to actually pressure them with the SB, so they actually had sentries in the jungle earlier. What's AA saving up for? Do you actually want to go anything else than Agadims here? I don't think I so. Yeah, I guess you can go. You can go Solar Crest if you want, but uh, I think that's a job for Dazzle. Yeah, I don't think there's anything like Fossil doesn't seem too useful. Uh, neither does Pipe. And, uh, uh, I, th I think Agonis is probably the best choice here. Like Agonis is just direct Glimmer? counter for the yeah, Glimmer, not great, yeah. direct counter for the Alchemist. You want to be able to just make sure Alchemist is useless this game with his chemical rage. Also good versus the mech, but they have a Pipe coming out soon on Darks here. Uh oh, he's getting Pipe. Is under attack. That's when we're getting pipe. Pipe's good. No, I mean it's really bad for Maneski that he's getting a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good item and no one gets it. So what did uh, Fata purchase with Hiko? I, I I saw him purchase it. Oh, okay. So now you go back for the rat build, right? With the Octarine core. Dyer's courier has been killed. <laughs> wow, that is some casual <laughs> carrier <laughs> snipe. Oh wait, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Do you actually go for the Octarine now and go back for the Naga playstyle just to rat the game right I don't I don't see why not. <laughs> casual so <smooth>. casual dodge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So smooth indeed. It's a good use. Efficiency man. Radiance bottom efficiency. tower is nope. under attack. No, you cannot. So Mineski needs to be hard pressed with pressure and find kills and they can't though with the Aegis. They need they have to kill Alk a lot. 
But yeah, they, 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 they need to set up the gank with Ice Blast plus Charge and maybe because Ember has bots, right? So he can actually boost our travel. They haven't really been using it that much, though. Right? It's like I don't really see them moving around and getting kills that much. It seems like they're content to farm, whereas they should have been content getting a lot of kills. Maybe the because they feel like you know when you push the Midas, you want the Midas to pay off before you start to pressure. Maybe guess, maybe they are feeling like oh we just actually spent four K go on like it was obviously five minutes ago, six minutes, actually ten minutes ago. As we got his very early, uh, A probably got it like seven minutes ago. So they felt. I mean, like for AA, you don't really care, right? You can still contribute to the fight. Yeah. Which was pretty much just a spirit breaker. Yeah. I guess they should have been more. Ag yeah. You should. You're right. They should have been more aggressive. Here we go, going on the kill on Matumba Man's Aegis. Not enough lockdown. Still walks into the AA ultimate. BKB on. Cuckoo. Oh, he, did he swap Illusion out? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It looked like it. A Spirit Breaker. No time left until his Shadow Blade. Oh, oh he no got man. mana burning out. He's he done. done for. That is like a four hero track. That is really, really bad. Was he there for track? I don't think so. Oh, he didn't get a track off? I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. Okay, so BH has Glimmer Kit no and a gem. They're gonna remove the vision and it's gonna be very tough for Mineski to try and catch them later when all their vision gets removed. I think the overall plan for Liquid now is really solid. Removing vision, vision control and then they speed push with Alchemist. Well they got by the early game, so that's all I need to Yeah they surprisingly they actually got through the early game without suffering too much though. I felt like they should have been they should have been lost a lot more. Yeah, probably. like they are up against SB Ember and Queen of Pain, right? That is also a, yeah. That is also a huge reason because it allowed the alchemist to actually oh, break even. Buy back into another death. Very possible for spear breaker at this point. They and finally they, get uh, the ages, but that is not the fight that you want to take. Yeah, I, I think going back to the early game, that that Curious Knight with the bottle in it just game it, changer. It lost other momentum. Well, also Ember Spear dying. Like, what you remember? He chained him and then ran into the tower. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The the, the dive during the first room. Because after that, Liquid just like kind of just walked up to the lane. Like yeah, but they they, they still lane. lost a lot of kills during the process. Like Mineski got a lot of kills during the process, even though the mid lane didn't go so well. Yeah, for but the it could they could have gotten more. Yeah, they needed to get more actually. They needed to get more because of the lineup. And do do you do you actually agree with the Midas's from or you think it's fine? I think one is fine. I. Actually, I think both is fine. I just don't think they have played it that aggressive. You think they should have get, gotten the Midas plus play more, like be more, you know, initiative in starting ganks and you know. Yeah, I think so. I think with an Ember Spirit like that, you're w you're never afraid to like constantly fight like over and over and over and over again. But you have to be fighting obviously near creeps, right? For for him to use the bots. I mean, you should be able to kind of think coordinate about it. Ahead it. Ahead. Yeah. With Ember and Queen. And basically, they have such a strong lineup. So, like, during the window of time, 10 minutes to 20 minutes, their lineup is extremely strong. I don't think the they. I, I think they really needed Orchid, though, for the. Queen? For the, yeah, on the Queen for but the. You, you don't like the Agony on Queen. I think it was okay, but, like, the the pro the process was just really weird. First yeah, but but, 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 do, but don't you feel like if he has Agony because they needed to keep fighting with the SB charge, you always want your Sonic Wave ready for fights? But yeah, you but you also want to... They, they can't kill the PL. Like, he's just double ganger. Yeah, but if thing. he gets diffusers... I mean, it, okay, it depends on how early you get the orchid. You get the right. orchid as well, so... And then they can also kill the alchemist. Yeah, but I could understand also. why he goes for the alchemist. Oh, I, know, I definitely game. agree. But, like, in retrospect, you can play this game again. You think it would still be better to go for orchid? Possibly. It's just something to consider. I mean, I guess because they don't really have any... <laughs> Good lockdown against the against the PL. They don't have something reliable. No, SB is not reliable because you charge and basically you never you can never charge a PL unless he has double Kanga on cooldown. And chains obviously not reliable against PL as well because you can double Kanga out of it. So yeah, I I can see that the reasoning why you you feel like they needed to have uh, Orchid on the Queen. So I mean, it's also good for self though. Right. Yeah. I've seen so many Alks just die as soon as they get orchided because they can't chemical rage in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but right now it's already in the game has already transitioned into the pace of liquid heroes. Like it's gonna be really hard for Minesti uh -oh. to push Joel's the out on his own. And it's gonna be a what three hero track again? That is bad. By what right? Yeah, they they have no map control anymore. The bounty hunter just really destroyed them. Like he 
the ki the chicken kill was pretty big, and then on top of that, like a lot of the track kills, because they were kind of behind in gold. So as soon as they won one team fight, the gold lead got out of control. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, he scattered out so many other But but, but do you think they have any chance if they go into ultra late game in SC Zero? Uh, I don't know. Unless Raging Potato gets massive, he's pretty big right now, though. But I mean, Alk's net worth is just ridiculous. Yeah, but but Ember is a, a, a lot stronger than Alk in ultra late game. Yeah, but Liquid can just get the ages. Right. And they keep sieging with PR illusions. Yeah, they have they have like no chance of. Like yeah, I guess when you have map control, you can do whatever you want. That's the benefit. Yeah. That's why it's so important to control the map when you're winning. Like get a gem, remove vision, treasure, and limit movements. I mean, and look at his items right now. You know, but the thing is, like they don't really have a lot of good items. <laughs> like good bench items upgrades. Yeah, but how many times have we seen you need like four agonist upgrades or even two to win the game? It's usually just one. Like which doctor or Venom? Which doctor Venom and uh, Undying? Too? Yeah, I guess those are the really common ones. Yeah. You ogre. don't really, you don't really, yeah, an ogre. You don't really get it on bench. Like Dark you could argue it's okay because you do a lot more damage with the illusions. Yeah. But Radiant's the bench one is just is like attack. Attack. I guess. I mean, you can get it for the stats of PL. I mean, so his illusion is also stronger. I mean, still, like we saw the spirit breaker just get off to a ridiculous start, and now he's down to number six. Right, I think he should be up in like number three territory because oh yeah, now they don't have enough damage to kind of compete with the Alka and the PL. They have a Queen of Pain, who is also really. But he buy he buy five. back in one of the fights, which actually hindered his. Radiance so bottom much. tower is under attack. And this game, he sort of needed like okay, Shadow Bay was fine, but he needed also BKB because there's just so much damage coming from like the defusal. and he doesn't want to get stunned by Alchemist or Bench because one stun and he's basically gone. I mean, ideally you'd have you'd have a uh, weave stacks up on you, right? So you mm -hmm. can kind of think through it. But it, I haven't really seen their lineup come. Yeah, but it's that much. it's the thing like we mentioned, they needed to be more aggressive. But it's all down to the SB and the queen because usually when Minesi plays aggressive, it's they have Ember the, too, dude. yeah, they have one roaming support. So probably this is something that they are not too comfortable with the pace of the game where they needed the cost to be aggressive because usually oh, okay. Jeshiwa plays the support Night Soccer or Bounty, so he goes and creates the tempo for his team. But this game, he's the ancient operation, so he sits and he waits for his team to create the tempo. So it's something that they are not usually doing in their normal game time. It's a really good point. Like sometimes it's a small thing that sometimes it takes you out yeah, because yeah. it's a different plan. And then you don't execute it as well. I mean, it happens when you're really comfortable with a certain taste now. But I still feel if you go into late game with a super farm amber, it's they can still do it. They can still do it. Yeah, can't they just get like a hex though on, on Darkseer? Darkseer and then they're kind of in trouble. But they have a Midas on Link uh, on the A. I think A once you complete the Agrims, you go Lincolns this game. Then you just keep link using Lincolns on the Amber. Or Lotus? Yeah, I, both those items are good. They can just swap the top it. Yeah, lo Lotus is also good. Like if you see the Darkseer going, going for the hex, Lotus would be a really good choice on the A. This tower's still up? <laughs> Uh, that's the issue as well. Like they were getting a lot of kills early game, but they weren't pushing towers. They yeah. weren't because their heroes are honestly their heroes suck at pushing towers. Oh, they also didn't have an urn. Why did they get an urn? On dazzle. On anyone, spear breaker two is also really good. You see urn a lot. I actually think that's great because we need to be able to transition into killing yeah. towers. Yep, that's also a good point. I didn't even notice that they didn't have one. I just assumed they don't have they don't have mech as well. Because they their cores don't really build mech. Oh, they do have mech. Oh yeah, they have a mech on Dazzle, but he didn't really get it like very early. That's the thing. Like we saw one of the games when I was casting with LD FNG when he was playing SB, he went for a mech on SB and he went arcane boots. What do you think about that? Sounds because like no, no, stuff right no, there. no one could have built the mech on his team, so he actually built that item. There's nothing wrong with that. SB's job is just tank damage and die, right? You just run in first and. And Greaves is stuff. good on SB, theoretically. What's up? Greaves is good on SB theoretically. Just get it the armor. It's just that if you don't go treads on SB, it feels really weird because that's the best, you know. You might as well. Just, why don't you just go like treads, mech, and then you. But don't like you have like you mana problems? You, earn you have mana problems if you do that. Earn stick, not enough. Yeah, but then you can only use one, one chain of combo. Like SV is usually you charge in, you get your nether strike, and then you run away, and then you get another charge. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know, Arcane just seems subpar on him. You yeah, uh, it's not optimal, him. but uh, I feel like his item build allows uh, his team to be more, because no one can actually build like the mech, right? No one optimal is there to build the mech, so you 
You kind of can't you just get it later? Can't you just get like treads Midas and then mech? So yeah, you can but you can mech is an item that you want to get as soon as yeah. possible, right. right? If you don't get it fast, then it becomes. You don't really want to get it if you can't get it fast. That's basically the item. It has a lot less value if you get it later. But uh, earlier you don't have enough mana, so that's why he got that case. So yeah, <laughs> I mean it's not that bad. I'm, I'm on board with it. You can also go like solar and earn for mana regen, but I guess you don't really need mana regen. You just need a mana pool. Yeah, but some players would also prefer to go for human hit because you have so much HP from the stats and armor. Yeah. And if you get magic resistance, you are so much more tanky as SB. And that's where your support though. I don't feel like he's that great. With yeah, supports SB. Yeah. He has no. Not enough mana. If core SB, you rarely see green. Really. Mostly you go for either, you try to go for Midas, or you go for Shadow Blade, Trent, or you go for early BKB. But I think players tend to go for BKBs more. Sometimes you see Medallion. I think the only player who gets Medallion on a consistent basis too much. Yeah, he mostly goes for an early Medallion on, on his SB. But that's gonna be another track here. Oh, he moves the track, but track gets a high on him, gets a charge off. Should be able to survive it. He's fine in case he can but oops, no. Mind Culture is gonna intercept him with a blink plus Shivers. So, well done by him. That's, I think, a track as well, so that's a big kill for them to secure. I mean, at this point, Liquid doesn't even look to farm anymore. They want to end the game because they don't want to actually let the Ember get more farm, more items, they want to finish the game because they are reaching their I mean, he has farm. a lot of items though, I mean, like, look at his farm. He's actually incredibly farmed. Like, it doesn't matter if he has one more item or not. Tower Do you actually consider going for a second battle free against the PL right now? I don't think PL is the main problem. So what do you go next? Let's uh, just go for more damage. Rapier? Rapier? Is it Rapier territory yet? It's close. Yeah, I think so, because they're so far behind. Yeah. They are hitting kills, but <laughs> yeah, they're so far behind. He doesn't have buyback. It's still super hard to push into this farm ember on top of the AA. So Radiant's Liquid still kind of have a chance. I Why did you mean Mineski kind of still has a chance? Yeah. Hey, you said Liquid, dude. Oh yeah, sorry. Mineski still kind of has a chance, I suppose. But I mean, once Darkseer gets a sheep, though, I mean, do you really need a sheep? I guess they do need lockdown. They need a the lockdown. I think they need a sheep because no oh, one. Oh, the swap in a sheep is so. Yeah, cool. swap sheep late game. Oh my god, that is actually is so the good. strongest late game thing yeah, ever. It is. <laughs> we All just we just rarely see it, so we forget about it. Oh, that's because it's old school, man. Yeah, it is really old school. What else is actually good with swap? Swap hex, swap. Even swap, swap, swap arrow, I I seen a couple of times, which is really good sure. in that game if you get the timings right. It's very hard. Swap to hex is so easy to pull yeah. off though, because you just need to click it on him and just wait for the swap. <laughs> That's it. You can pre-cast the hex. Yep, it's like one of the I think the strongest late game combo. Radiant well, Modern not with four staffs and glimmer and lotus now. Right, it's not as strong. It's still strong. I mean, because of the if you get bench on level sixteen, it's very hard to predict, and it, it gives you no time to prepare for it, so you can't precast the lotus off. If you don't see the bench, Lincoln's. I guess so, Lincoln. But then it forces you to get a Lincoln. So I mean, yeah, that's true. Late game, sometimes you want to go damage item on your core. Radiant structures you don't really are fortified. Lincoln. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Okay. So Radiant's definitely Duxer goes for Hex next, I, I think. I don't think there's anything better. Yeah, he's going for Hex. Hex and then a Refresher. GG, man. Hex, Refresher... That's it. Do, do you feel like completing the Greece is a good thing? Save a slot? Yes. You don't, but you don't think it's worth it if you just Not really. buy it for the it, whole item? Like, if you're low, you're just gonna get shattered anyways. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> Oh, I was just I was just thinking it's good to have the bonus armor against uh, Amber Spirit. Yeah, might as well just get a flash. Right, two melee cores. I guess so. So it's just for saving item slots. It's not really bad. Yeah, it's not for. Because that's A. But you'd rather have bots in the game, though. I don't even think you need creeps, honestly. So you'd rather actually sell the archives for bots and just keep the mech? If you're pressed for gold. But. I guess his items is gonna be like Hex, Shiva's pipe and mech for a long time this game. I I don't think he'll be doing a lot of farming after this, like he's just gonna try and get a They a might hex. not have a choice though with the way that Maneski's playing. 
Well, Radiant depends on whether they can be, they can always chip. You know what they're doing right now? They keep chipping the tower, and just slowly siege. They don't really need to commit to a fight. And you know, Venge is always back there to stop the PR if he gets in trouble. Like even the alchemist is just bit pushing one lane, so they have double like double pressing two lanes, and Radiant's it's really hard for Minesky to defend. What's Silver Edge for? Radiant's bottom barracks are under something? attack. I think Silver Edge is good versus Amber if you can hit him once, because you hit a lot of the damage he's doing. Radiant's it's actually something that's very really underrated. That I think it's actually really good versus Jaiwo and Amber. I forget about that aspect a lot. Yeah, usually they just die. <laughs> super Radiant's yeah. bottom barracks are under attack. I mean, it Radiant's usually and usually they just get it for the break. You don't really get it for the damage reduction that you can fight. You Tell my man gets scythed up. Looks like he is going to still get hit by the A blast. Ooh, super nice Sonic Wave coming out from the Queen. Focusing down. No gem Jerex. though. No detection. Radiant's top barracks. And top lane is Alchemist rats. take the tower? Yep. Okay, they're getting rat to death right now. <laughs> this is tough man, this is tough to watch for them. There's not much they can do right with the uh, SB down. They can't kill anyone. And Ember's because they actually understand that Ember can defend one lane when they're splitting up like this. It makes it so difficult for the Ember to hold the lane. Also every time he has illusions he sends them away from himself so it doesn't Yeah, yeah, he doesn't get creepy so up. He's like really difficult to bring down. So did the Ember go for another Radiant's item? Middle tower is under she attack. has to go for another item, right? Otherwise they're, they're just gonna lose. And what else do you just, get a, this point. just get a crit. Or crit? I don't know. Anything that gives you damage. So here's the thing you need to get the attack. Oh, a couple of racks down already for Mineski. Oh, holding on to their last goodbyes here. And GG comes yep. out. I really feel like they missed all of their window though. They had a... I mean, I mean the career stun is unfortunate in the lane phase for the, for the Queen. But after that I felt like they were still strong enough to actually... I think so too. ...pressure more. Like it seemed like a lot of times they just only had like three people when they needed four, or four people when they needed five, or one person doing do you, do you Do you think they should have actually done a lot? Because this game they actually didn't really do a lot of smokes. They needed to smoke with the Queen with ideally the Dazzle because you want the AA to farm I mean, I would actually give more farm to the AI. It's understandable if you're choosing farm between AI and. I Dazzle. think they they needed more smokes. They didn't have enough wards up in the jungle. Yeah. They stayed up, mm -hmm. and they kind of had too many mistakes in the early game. The courier snipe, the ember spirit dive. At I level mean, one. the courier snipe is sort of like it's a big deal. okay. It's a big deal, but some it's an understandable mistake. Yeah. It's not like a mistake that is really really bad. I mean, it affected the game a lot, but sometimes you forget, you know. Oh no, I'm not saying it's a bad mistake. I'm just saying it affected the game a lot. Yeah, it affected the game a lot, but they still could have. Uh, apply more pressure after that because SB had a really good start. It that seemed like they were really scared to fight once Bounty Hunter got level 6. I think it seemed like they mm, were like... I think after the SB got a Midas, he was also spending a lot of time farming because, I mean, it's understandable as well because you just got a Midas, you want to farm. But not at versus the their lineup. But not versus their lineup. That is, yeah, that is the thing. Like Against Elk, you never want to trade farm. That's why I felt like even though he had a good farm this game, even though you, you were great right, with the Midas, I felt like if he actually went for maybe more stat, stat base, you, you Go for Tres Drum early. You just go fighting. I don't think he even needs Tres Drums to fight. He can just get Tres Midas and fight. They were that strong. Yeah, I, I understand. Mm. Well. But at the same time, I felt like if you actually... You can still make the drums work if you actually... Like, there are going to be situations where the drums are going to allow you to survive. I agree. I think they just want some late game insurance. That's like, not if, if you go late game against Alchemist, it's always going to be tough, you know? Cool. So I feel like, yeah, they should have pressured a lot more. And needed more vision. So they had a good draft, a good game plan for the first 15, and then it kind of fell apart. Yeah, it was also, we right, were right, we were quite that. surprised that Liquid went for the greedy lineup after seeing the Amber Queen and They SD. were just like, yeah, we got this. And Still, very well played by Liquid. We will have game two coming out for you very soon.